British Art Show is normally happens every five years. It's organised by Hayward Gallery in London, um, and it aims to really uh, showcase some of the most interesting artists that are working in the UK at that particular moment in time. Um, so we're really excited this year. It tours around the country, but we're really excited this year that they chose to come to Wolverhampton for British Art Show Nine. Um, and we're going to be showing it in the School of Art on the seventh floor in these spaces here, which are normally our fine art studios and also over at the art gallery. Prior to this building, which everybody will know and recognise, um, we actually shared the same space as the art gallery. So when you go to the art gallery, you'll actually see there's a plaque on the outside that, that talks about it being the School of Art and the art gallery. So this has been a really good opportunity to start rekindling, I think, that connection. And I think that um, an art school, the art gallery, they, they work together. There's a, there's a relationship between these two kind of institutions and then the industry in the, in the town. I think perhaps the really exciting thing about this British Art Show is that it's the most diverse um, group of artists ever represented in the British Art Show and that seems really important that that's coming to Wolverhampton because it's such a diverse city and what I hope really is that people will come to this show and actually see um, their lives represented through art and their issues represented through art in, in kind of meaningful ways that perhaps um, in the past people have never felt that art really did, did kind of talk to them. And it was all very hierarchical, it was, it, you know, and, and actually I think uh, the artists in this exhibition, you know, many of them, some of them, you know, do come from the Midlands, they've come from, they've grown up in Wolverhampton, <laughs> um, and they're, you know, really talking about um, diversity, inclusion, everyday life, and, um, and so really, yeah, what I'd want, out of this is that people who wouldn't normally come into the art school, wouldn't normally come to an art gallery, feel they can come to this event, it's free, come and take a look and see how, how artists are kind of working with ordinary, ordinary everyday issues. <laughs> So we really hope that it's going to attract a lot more people into the city. And we know already from previous art shows that, you know, it is a major event on the UK art calendar that does attract people from all over the country. So it's a real coup for us to be having this in Wolverhampton. Um, you know, and not only, you know, is it coming to the city, but we are the first English city to host the show. So for many people in England, it will be their first opportunity to see the exhibition. And I think the other thing is really how it sits within that wider context of what we're trying to develop as a city in Wolverhampton to really put us on the map culturally. Um, we're part way through developing a cultural strategy, which will look at the type of events and activities that we can bring to the city and also where we can do specific activity in certain areas of the city, um, particularly looking at some of our more diverse areas of the city and working with communities outside the city centre as well. So um, I suppose in some ways, I, you know, we can see 2022 as a real important year for the city, not only with British Art Show, but also we've got the reopening of the civic halls, um, we've got the Commonwealth Games, the cycling time trials coming to the city, and it's also our 21st anniversary of city status. So there's a lot of very exciting things happening that we can shout about. People will be quite surprised by some of the content of the exhibition because when we think about contemporary art, it's very varied. I mean, we behind me with this our Victorian gallery which is full of Victorian paintings you know and obviously that's one kind of genre of art but contemporary art is much broader than that uh, and it's more than looking at paintings on walls although we do have paintings in the exhibition as well um, you know there's a whole range of different types of almost experiences I suppose some of the arts quite immersive some of its film based some of its sculptural um, some of its performance. So I think really what I would say to people is come with a really open mind about what art is um, and you will definitely get something exciting out of that experience.